Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be going through another speed build. Uh, this time it is a bit creepier. Uh, there are some lot challenges on here that are for not the faint of heart, I would say. And this house is called Cute But Creepy. Oh my goodness. It is still love day. Lord above. I need to like, I don't know, go on a date or something. Move on from this day. All right. So, oh, let's put the roof on. That would be great. All right. So, kind of a small house this time. Um, cute. Um, kind of a faux garage here going on. Um, small lot, so compact. Ooh, we've got rabbits running in the yard. That's always fun. We've got um, a nice play area and fire pit. There's a porch in the back with some pretty awesome design, I think. Let's pause it before my sims get a little too involved with stuff. So we've got a little cook area and a outdoor sink, seating area. I really like these wall garden things. They're kind of cool. All right, so one floor on this. Let's see, do I have a... I don't think I have a... Nope, I don't. No basement on this one. So we've got one, two, three bedrooms. We have one, two bathrooms. We have a little mudroom and uh, laundry room. The area where the garage would be if this was not The Sims, we have a maker space with um, a place to set up a band, a place to uh, do some imaginative play, a woodworking bench, uh, some workout equipment, um, and then we have our uh, kind of mini area of the house where it's a little bit open concept but it's also kind of cozy. So we've got a lot of red in here because vampires live here. So if we, um, let's see, let's go into build mode. We see our lot stuff. So for this lot, we have Vampire Nexus, Dark Ley Line, Private Dwelling, and we also have Cursed, Gremlins, and Spooky as our lot uh, challenges. So this one is definitely one of those where it's going to take some, some work uh, to make it work for your Sims. So I've, I've already put in a vampire family into my house. Uh, we have the blood red cabinets accenting the white cabinets and appliances. A nice little seating area. I'm really falling in love with these Star Wars lights. I need to stop using them, but I really, really like how they turn out. So um, we have our owner's suite over here with an all suite and a walk-in closet. Which, of course, because of how their closet systems work, if you have the walls down, you cannot see them. So we have a uh, bathroom. Okay, that's better. Some little pops of red. Ooh, what are they watching? News or something. And then we have... Actually, you know what? We have four bedrooms in here. I can count really well. Or is that a toy room? Never mind. That's a toy room. So we have a kid's room here. Um, some greens in this room. And then we have what I would consider the teenager's room. Blood red kind of everywhere. We've got it in the floor, in the uh, furnishings, in the curtains. Um, we've got some of those vampire spooky pictures going on in there. And then we have the toy room. Um, I've got the, some toys. I like this little skeleton bear. He's fun. We've got a playhouse and some other things for the kiddos to play with. And then, like I said, we have this nice little porch off the back. Kind of a simple home, but it works. And um, if you like this, you can download it from the Sims 4 Gallery and add it to your 
Sims neighborhood and fill it with vampires as well. Oh, this bunny makes me think of the book Bunnicula. I love that book. Ooh, he is not helping with the gardening, which is fine because there's no garden here yet. So um, if you enjoy this, you can download it if you like the speed build that that uh, follows this introduction to the bot, you can feel free to like, subs subscribe, and do all those youtube -y things. Um, and I hope you enjoy it.